Hello guys, Lee Clark here. Welcome to Focus Fitness Training. Today, today we're doing my new video, which is all about consistency. Okay, a lot of people do ask me, is consistency key? Yes, it is. Simply, that is the simple answer. Consistency is the key to pretty much unlocking the results and the gains you want. If you're not consistent with your training and your nutrition, uh, then no, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay, but um, we're going to break this down in two parts, obviously with nutrition and training. Okay, because they're the main two parts that obviously contribute to this. <coughs> Your training, which is where we're going to where we're gonna go. Um, basically, training, you have to be, sort of have a plan when you do your training. Like when you're working out, you, you can't just go into a gym, okay, and do anything. You, know? you can't walk into a gym and just do a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of this for the arms, a bit of this for the legs. You know, it just doesn't work. You, I mean, you're not going to get anything out of that. You're just going to get a load of crap. And you don't want that. You want results. You want gains. You, you know, you want to see results. Okay, you want to feel results. Okay, so by doing what you, so what you have to do is you have to have a plan of attack. Okay, you need to sort of know the body part that you're going to basically work on. Uh, whether that's your chest or your back or your chest and your back or chest and triceps or biceps and triceps or you know, your quads and your hands, shoulders and, and, your, and your core. Uh, but it's, you have to have a plan of attack of what you're doing. Or even if it's just a total body workout. Uh, or, you know, you'll, you'll have some sort of plan, some sort of idea. But also you have to have an idea of the exercises you're going to do. You can't just do any old exercises. You have to do the exercises that will basically work for what you're working towards. You know, athletes don't just do any exercises. They do exercises that are going to help benefit them. Okay, they become very sort of versatile in a lot of exercises, uh, and especially they do a lot of training that's going to help them in the sports that they do. All right? And it's what you guys have to do, right? or what we all have to do. We have to become sort of first time at all exercise. We have to sort of try them all, sort of do all different sort of sorts of kinds of things, okay, to keep fit in different ways, but also to benefit you in the way you want, in in the results you want, because everyone is different in the results they want, whether it's toning, weight loss, muscle building, strength, power, more explosiveness. And so on. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Okay, but every, like I say, everyone is individual. Again, everyone wants different results. So you have to sort of implement training that is actually going to help you, especially if you want those specific results. <coughs> so not only do you have to have the, obviously have some sort of plan and know basically what you're doing. Okay, but you have to put the hard intensity work into it. So. You know what you're doing, you know what exercise you're doing, you know your sets, your reps, and your rest time. You will, so you've got that sorted. Next thing is actually doing it, executing it, going down to the obviously a gym or at home or the hotel gym or in a hotel room even if you're if you're doing body weight or very limited equipment wise, you know, like using your surroundings around you. Then you have to execute that plan. Execute it, put the hard work into it and the intensity, and you will get the results you want. If you don't, obviously, like I say, and you just sort of try and mull through, okay, then you're not going to get anything. Okay, it's, it's all very well having all of that, but you have to put the hard work into it. If you just, like I say, try and sort of lull through it, it's not going to work for you guys. Okay, you have to put the hard work into your workouts. They have to be hard and intense, right? It, and now, whether it whether you have, uh, I mean, short rest periods, slight long rest periods, or higher volumes, higher reps, higher sort of weights or light weights, however you train, okay, is sort of obviously what works for you. Basically, obviously everyone's going to have some sort of different training regime in the way they obviously train and it, if it works for you then it works but make sure you try and keep things fresh as well okay so you've got your plan you know what you're doing of working hard but keep it fresh do not make it mundane and boring 
Uh, the muscles tend to get bored after four to six weeks okay, of doing the same thing. If you're, do, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, your muscles are going to get bored, the exercises are going to become easy, and they're going to become boring, and it's just going to be boring. It's just going to be pointless. Because then you're not going to see any results, you're just going to get nothing. Muscles get bored just like we get bored. You know, you have to keep things fresh. And my personal thought preference is I keep um, my workouts different every single time. I never, ever repeat it the same twice a week. I never do the same workout twice a week. I will always keep something different. If I do my shoulders and I do maybe some front raises, some lateral raises and you know some sort of rear lateral raises, then I don't do those the week after. I do something completely different. Okay? I'll, you know, I'll maybe do a shoulder press. Okay? Obviously for the, for the front of my shoulders. You know, I may do some high pulls. Obviously, which will give me some external rotation, but hit the middle shoulder anyway. <clears throat> and I may do some sort of hip drags, okay, for my rear shoulders, okay, because I know it's going to hit the rear shoulders, but it's completely different. It's completely different the next, the very next week. Okay? I will always do something different because if you keep it fresh, it keeps muscles on your toes, it keeps it exciting for the muscles, and it keeps the gains and the results coming. And that's what you want. You, you don't want no gains. You don't want to be stagnant and, and static and not making any progress, do you? No, you want to be making more progress. You want to be getting more gains. You want to strive to get newer gains and newer results and, and, and more personal bests, if that's what you're aiming for. And by keeping things fresh and, and, and new, then you're going to be able to do that. And that's by having that plan knowing what you're doing, knowing how you're doing it, obviously with the sets and the reps and the times and the rest periods and so on, and actually putting hard work into it, okay, and keeping it fresh. It's very, very simple. It sounds like a lot, okay, but it's very simple. It's having that plan, knowing what you're doing, hard work, and keeping it fresh. That, that is how you break it down really, really simple. Right? I mean, yeah, you may have a friend who's a bit of a fitness guru and they may help you out, obviously, but if their system doesn't work or the way they've done it doesn't work for you, then it's clearly not the way for you to go. But like I say, everyone's going to have a different system of how they work, and if it works, then obviously keep that kind of a system, but obviously keep things fresh. Okay? Don't, like I say, stay in a stagnant board. Okay? You, you don't want to be doing that, but obviously if something works for you, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like I say, you can also try different techniques, by like do some explosive exercises, do slow motion training, you know, do one and a half rep training, do hockey sets, which is 30 reps in one set, which is worth three sets of 10. You know, if you're very short on time, you know, like you know, more time efficient workouts. Okay, so if you if you are someone who is short, is short on time, doesn't have a lot of time, then quicker workouts, or, or sort of really hard intense workouts that are condensed down, okay, into a quicker time, okay, then obviously they they're going to be more efficient for you because you're short on time, and but you're still going to be getting the results that you want, and if they work for you, they work for you. Okay, if it's better for you to do it after work or before work, then that's up to you. Or if it's really up to up to your preference, okay? And and your lifestyle as well. Yes, you have to prioritise your workouts to a certain point, but it doesn't matter when you do them, okay? Obviously I've done a video on that actually uh, you know, a few months ago, obviously on does it really matter when you train? No, it doesn't matter when you train. It doesn't matter whether you train in the morning, afternoon, evening or even the early hours of the morning. I mean, the other day I was actually doing a workout at half past one in the morning. Sounds insane, I know, but at that time it was the best time for me to do it. Why? Because it was quiet. Obviously, obviously everyone was asleep in bed. Obviously, I had nothing else really to do. Okay, and I had a you know a bit of free time on my hands, and I was kind of awake. Why? I don't know. But obviously, I was awake, so obviously I did the workout at half one, half one in the morning, and. I felt great the next day, I still felt fine. 
Obviously, I was a little bit sore the day after that, obviously because of the onset of muscle soreness. But again, I knew I'd worked my arms hard. Okay, and for that, I felt good. Like I say there, yes, they were a little bit sore, but it, that tells me I then worked hard. I did my job. I did what I had to do to get the results I wanted. Right? I had, I, I, I got my shit done that I needed to do, even if it was a like half one in the morning, but I got it done. So like I say, it doesn't really matter when you train, okay, as long as you can train, okay, as long as you can fit it in somewhere, get some free time and fit it in, okay, but, th but that's basically your training side of things, <coughs> but your nutrition, nutrition is kind of the same, alright, but before we go into nutrition, obviously, with your training, you, you also got, uh, have to kind of visualise, um, that can you see yourself being consistent on your training? Okay, can you can you visualize yourself being consistent on on being be on being consistent on your training? Basically, okay, can you visualize that? Can can you visualize yourself being consistent every single week? Okay, and having a good week. I mean, if you're ill, you're ill. That's that's completely different. Or something happens, you know, like emergency things. But Obviously, on a normal general week, if you can see yourself being consistent, you can visualise that, you know you can do that, then that's that's part of the way that you, you, you're already almost there. Right, as long as you can visualise that, and, and the same, the same with your nutrition, you can visualise that you know you're going to be good with your nutrition. Now, I'm not saying cut out all the treat stuff, obviously, but we'll, like I said, I'll we'll get to that in a minute. But also... Yeah, so, so just visualise that. Make sure you can actually see yourself doing that because this is a lifestyle change. It's not a fad. It's not a little thing you're going to do or go on and off, on and off, on and off. It's a lifestyle. It is part of your life. You know, it will become part of your routine life. Okay? You know, it should, should be something you enjoy as well. Okay? You don't, you don't want to be making it a chore. Okay, working out should never ever become a chore. Right? Yes, a lot because a lot of, a lot of people do actually see it as a chore. It's not a chore. It's a, it's a it's an enjoyable thing. Okay, it's something to sort of release a bit of stress. Okay, and obviously after you've done that workout, you release those endorphins which make you happy. Okay, so it should be something you enjoy to do. Right? But yeah, visualize and and just. Make sure, yeah, just, just, just make sure you can visualize it and obviously see yourself being consistent with it. Okay, if you can do that, like I said, then you're there. Okay? Now, with your nutrition, it, again, it's the same thing. You have to be able to sort of see yourself being good with your nutrition. Now, as I said, cutting out all your treat stuff, I'm not saying that. When, when you're doing your nutrition, yes, you, that, that's the nutrients you're, you're putting in your body to feed your muscles the nutrients they need, basically. Uh, to come back bigger, better, better, or stronger. <clears throat> but again, you ha it has to be the right stuff. It can't, it can't be crap. Basically, I say, set yourself a goal at the end of the week. Right. So you're, you're going to basically say, say you're going to lose a stone that first week. But at the end of the week, your your treat is maybe I don't know a glass of wine or a bag of chips, you know, whatever it is. Okay, and when I say chips, I mean as in fries, you know, <clears throat> I don't mean like potato chips. Um, but yeah, that, that is your goal at the end of the day. Okay? That, that, I mean, and, and I mean, do it in moderation, right? That's what it is all about, is, is moderation. Is people take moderation in, in, basically take it for granted and overdo it. Don't overdo it. This is why it says on the back of every freaking piece of food on packaging, healthy, balanced, balanced, yeah, balanced diet, varied, balanced diet, okay, I don't call it a diet, I call it very balanced eating, okay, it's just because you're eating, is it very balanced eating style or plan, okay, yeah, you, because, you, because basically you're planning what you're going to eat, aren't you really, but you want to you want to eat the right stuff. <clears throat> you have to have to be consistent in eating the right stuff. Okay, so, so, so say you're good for most of the week, and you have that treat at the end of the week. That's cool because that's a very balanced diet. Okay, you haven't cut all the crap out, but you, you've kept it 
but you've only kept it to the end of the week. You've only had one thing at the end of the week. Okay, you can maybe have a quick, very, very quick cheat meal within the middle of the week, maybe like the Wednesday. Okay, like you know, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you would consider to be a cheat meal, really. Um, but and then like say, like say, a cheeky glass of wine at the weekend or something. You know, whatever your treat would be, obviously, and and if you set little things like that for yourself, right, then you are not going to fail. You 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 actually set yourself up for success because you know there's something at the end of that tunnel, at the end of that week, that you can strive for. You know, there's something there that's going to be rewarding at the end of the week. Not only results, okay, and feeling better and actually looking better and actually starting to see results, okay, after a while, but there's also some sort of reward at the end of it, okay, apart from, like, say, your results. There's the, uh, another reward that, that you really enjoy, okay, like, say, is that a glass of wine or, you know, a bag of chips or, I don't know, a, a piece of carrot cake, maybe? You know, whatever really sort of floats your boat, okay, <clears throat> within obviously a good reason. Um, but yeah, you know, if you set you think set little things like that, up, which which I mean I do that myself, obviously, and I find it, it works because it it keeps me consistent, it keeps me going, because I know at the end of the week or somewhere in the middle of the week, I've got something that I can work towards. You know, I've got something to work to towards. I mean, I don't have to have a treat all the time. You know, half the time I, I just enjoy the good food because it's it's what I do, it's what I eat, you know, it's what I like, it's what I enjoy. So half the time it's, it's just having a good meal, you know, that is a treat to me. Of like, you know, having a you know a good old tuna steak with you know some good vegetables and, and some good sort of carbs. I get good protein, get good you know vitamins and minerals from my vet from the veg, okay, and I get a good carb content from often from what I'm having carb wise. Okay, so <clears throat> I mean, so that's generally that, but that's generally me. That's me. But obviously, if you find setting yourself up having a treat at the end of it every week is going to help you, then do it. Okay, because you know that that, that that's going to keep you more consistent than non-consistent. Okay, and and, that, and that's what it is all about. It's just about being consistent with your training and your nutrition. And if you're consistent with those, then you will see basically everything you want to see you know you'll see your power you'll see your strength you'll see your muscle build, building you'll see your toning you'll see your more leanness your 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 uh you know your fitness levels go up okay even aesthetically just look better okay if that's what your goal is as well or increase your core stability or explosiveness whatever your goal is okay so just but make sure you are consistent with it okay so it's hard it's good, hard, honest training, okay, with a plan of knowing what you're doing and how you're doing it. And like I say, putting the hard work into it and, and, and incorporating different techniques, okay, or increasing the volume, increasing the weights, or decreasing the weights, okay, and decreasing the rest time or increasing the rest time, okay. It's playing around with it, trying different things, okay, and keeping the exercise fresh, okay, keeping it new and fresh all the time. Okay, I find that's some of the best ways to keep things going and to keep your results going by by just changing things around. Now, what, what, like I say, whether that's with you know your rest times or your volume or the, the frequency that you're doing it in, okay, it's really up to you. Obviously, how how you want to work it, but everyone finds, like I say, finds their own way of working it. Okay, and then obviously it's just also being consistent with your nutrition. Okay, be consistent with your nutrition, be good most of the week, have maybe a, a, like a, a set sort of goal at the end of the week of maybe what you're going to do or what you're going to achieve and then a little reward at the end of it. And that, like I say, that that actually does work for a lot of people. I've, I've done it for a lot of people myself you know, that I've trained and, and, and it does work. Okay, it, it's, it's, it's a very simple, very simple little thing, very simple little tweak. But it works, and if it works, then it's a really good thing. Okay, obviously, so I would definitely, definitely suggest trying that if you haven't tried it already. But if you enjoy the good food, if you enjoy the food that you eat anyway, like you know, like the good foods, like, like 
you know, off here, if you're having, I don't know, nice sort of tuna steak, with, with, again, as an example, with, with some veg and, and, and obviously some carb content, and, and you enjoy that, then you enjoy that. Have some sauce with it, maybe. You know, add some mayonnaise, because tuna steaks, they're, they're nice. They can be a little bit dry, so obviously adding, adding some sort of sauces to them sometimes can be good, obviously just so it's a little, not as dry. I think because some can be a little bit dry. <coughs> but anyway, that's besides the point. But like I say, obviously, guys, make sure you're consistent with your nutrition and with your training. Okay, and you'll, you'll reap the results in the best way possible. <coughs> it's that simple. But you got, but you guys, you guys have to have the drive to do it. But I've seen people, I've trained people. Uh, okay, obviously. And you know, I've, tra- I've, I've trained many people, trained many friends, watched many friends. Obviously, achieve results by putting in the hard work, okay? And that through their nutrition and their training, by combining the two together, okay? By making making them work in unison together, okay? And, and it does work well. <clears throat> you know, some of them do have that treat system in effect, and it works for them. And if it works, and the fact that it works for them, then I knew it works. Obviously, like I said, I've tried it myself, and I've done it for people myself, and, and I know that it works. But I've seen, like I say, I've seen, I've seen people that don't even train with me actually gain some fantastic results by what they've done, by the way they work. I get, like I say, everyone has so, so, something different will work for everyone because everyone is individual. Okay, no one is what is the very same person. Okay. Everyone has slight individualities and something different will work for them. But the best advice I can give you is keeping things fresh, working hard and intense, knowing what you're doing and keeping your nutrition locked in. Okay? <clears throat> it's pretty much that simple. Okay? Just keep keeping it key, having that drive. But anyway, because let's like say I, I know you guys can do it. If, if I can do it, obviously people I know can do it, obviously other people that I don't even know can, I've seen do it, then I know you guys can do it as well, okay, I, I mean this is why I'm giving this video to you, because I made a lot of mistakes along the way when I was younger, obviously, you know, trying to find out stuff, okay, it was a struggle, obviously, you know, I, I was never really happy with myself when I was younger, okay, I'm aware, oh, basically the way I looked, but I've worked, I've worked hard to gain what I've got, Okay, and I keep going. I keep striving now. I'm, I'm even improving more now. Okay, but I obviously, basically, this is why I'm making this kind of video because I, I don't want you guys to struggle the way I struggled. Okay, I want to give you the advice, the, the, the proper best advice I can give you. Okay, so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. Okay, or the same mistakes that somebody else made. Okay, or basically getting the wrong sort of information. Okay, I want to give you the best information so you know what to do and that you don't make any mistakes along the road. Okay, because like I say, I did make a few mistakes, but I learned from them, okay, and also I researched what I needed to do to get to where I'm going and or to get to where I am and obviously to keep going and further on. Okay, but it does require a little bit of research now and again as well, but like I say, Obviously, this is why I'm bringing these videos to you to give you the information, the best information, obviously, the most up to date information that I possibly can give you. But like I said, guys, I know you can do it, obviously, so keep going, guys. Obviously, if you're just starting out, then, then do it now. Start now. Okay, start now. Go now. Do it now. Okay, go go and get those gains going. Start your training. Obviously, obviously do it safely. Okay, do it, you know, train, train hard, you know, tr- but train safely, okay, and do it in, in a smart way, okay, don't, don't try, uh, leave your ego at the door, okay, do not try and be egotistical in the gym, just be smart about it, train hard, obviously, you know, and, you know, and don't be, oh, like, don't have an ego about it, okay, just train safely and smart, okay, and you will get where you need to go. But like I say, like, if you're starting out, go for it. Okay? If, you, if you've if you been training for quite a few years, but you've hit a bit of a plateau, then again, try some of this information. Try different techniques, try different ways, frequencies, volumes, weights, so on. Change things around, okay? Keep it fresh, and um, I'll tell you now that you will see different and dramatic results. Okay? 
it will work for me, it will work for people who know, it will work for other people I didn't, don't even know, then it will work for you. Okay, but like I said, guys, I'm really, really, really thankful for all the viewerships, all the subscriberships. Like I said in my last video, obviously, it doesn't mean a lot, obviously, because uh, the channels keep growing. Obviously, I want it to keep growing, so keep subscribing, obviously, keep keep view viewing the videos, keep obviously like supporting the channel, okay, because like I say, I really do appreciate it. Um, but anyway, guys, that is the consistency video in the book, okay, or in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Sorry if it was a little bit long-winded, but I felt it was a good video to do, okay, obviously important to inspire you guys, I want you guys to be inspired, I want you guys to know that I believe in you, and that obviously I know that you can achieve the best result possible, okay, obviously, obviously being positive as well is also a big sort of key of it as well, you've got to be kind of positive in the way you're going about this, in positive mental attitude, PMA, okay, so positive mental attitude is also a good part of it as well. <clears throat> but like I said, guys, obviously I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and like. Don't forget, don't forget to follow us. Sorry, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and here on the YouTube channel, Focus Fitness. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the link below. Okay. Obviously, we'll be linking some other videos up here soon as, as well. Okay, on like other motivational videos that I've done, okay, and other exercises, so you can see the sort of different kind of exercises that you can do, okay. Also, hit the subscribe symbol, obviously, if you don't hit the link below, okay. <clears throat> also, leave your comments in the comment section below what you thought about the video. Okay? Uh, did you like the video? Did you find it informative? What did you think about it? Obviously, uh, or if, if you've got any requests on, on certain videos, if it's not more videos like this or, or other videos like this. Okay, or a completely different video uh, altogether. Okay, leave, I'd uh, like to say, all, all, all your requests or any comments in the comment section below. Okay, because I do enjoy reading them, do enjoy to see any requests. And if you do have any requests, I'll try and get those covered in the month, days, months, weeks ahead. Okay, or days, weeks, and months ahead. Sorry, <clears throat> but like I said, obviously, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Obviously, don't forget to subscribe because if you do subscribe, you can follow it every single step away and never miss a video post on this channel. Plus, if you think it's going to help, help a friend or a family member out, get them involved so they can or, and get them to subscribe so they can follow it every single step away as well and then never miss a video post on this channel. Just make sure you click that bell and that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out so that way you'll never be able to miss anything, okay, and be able to get the best and newest information and best newest workouts and exercises coming out each and every week okay well that's it guys obviously enjoy the video hope you did obviously give it a thumbs up like we'd like to see those don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in a few days with my brand new video okay cheers bye